Hey everyone, it's Jenny. I'm back with a project share. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw some of these um, pins that I made. And these are totally inspired. I guess originally it was a Jen, it's a Jen Hadfield um, product that um, Anna, who is Serenity Creations, um, had shown in one of her, I don't think it was a haul, but it was like a tour of Frank's studio or something. And it was so cute and I just had it in my mind and then um, Happy Mail Queen, who is Armin, had done, she had made them already. And so I was watching hers and I was like, I already had the stuff in my cart because I knew I wanted to make it, but I didn't like hit go. And then so I just, I bought it and I got it in last week and I played around with it this week. So I just wanted to show you all the stuff I made. So um, anyway, I bought like the, um, I think they're like two inch um gold safety pins from all of this is from amazon pretty much um unless i had like a few other beads in my possession but even like the these heishi beads i think that's what they're called they're like spacer beads um even those are from amazon from like before so if you go on amazon you you're most likely be able to find almost all of this stuff um that i uh, that i have here so um i started out and okay so the jan hadfield one is like mostly um it's like alphabet kind of um pins and she had like different words on it but um i started off actually by making these bow ones because i just bought this set of um bow beads from amazon <laughs> and so i started to play around with that first so i did the um i did the round beads which are actually i think they're from walmart i think that's the only ones from walmart and it was like the oh no was it no 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 i'm sorry this was a gift from i think it was c who sees creations who um in our christmas swap she had given me a set of like dollar tree beads and it was it's the smaller size one it comes in a set and it has like tons of like round beads but it had the smaller ones and so that's the ones i used here and then I used those um, Heishi beads and then I put the bow in the middle and then I had some dangles on the side. So this heart, these hearts are from Ariel's shop, which is Creative Mojo Wholesale Studio. So, and I had made these dangles. So I was just sitting there making dangles after I had put the, all the pins together. But I really liked that color combination. So I just started playing around and putting together colors that I liked. So they're all pretty much the same just in different color schemes. And then this one has the heart, the star charm. Um, so I just thought that it would be really cute to like send in happy mail. Um, Cause I do have a few swaps coming up. Okay, so one of the questions um, that somebody had when I posted, I think it was Tammy who is SS Crafter one was like, how are you going to um, use it? Like, how are you going to go to your project? I'm like, I don't know. I got to figure it out. So I will figure that out and let you guys know once I actually do one. Um, and then somebody else asked me, what are you going to use it for? And I'm thinking, um, a dangle. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm guessing you could also like attach it to your project this way. Right. Um, but I gave a couple to my daughter. Like I don't have them here. I gave it to her already. And because she's a K-pop fan. So I made one that says BTS and one that says Luna. Because those are her two favorite groups. And she collects those photo cards in the, um, you know, like our pocket letter sleeves. And so I gave her those and she could clip it to the side of her pocket letter. So she was pretty happy about that. So anyway, these are just different ways that you can put them together. I, I really like this color combo. Um, I really like this one a lot, but I didn't have a chance to make any dangles to match. And um, I ran out of the eye pins, no, head pins. So I had to go buy some. I got a, and I ordered some from Amazon as well. So that's why these are not finished. Because um, cause I ran out. So I guess that's a good sign, right? That means I'm using my stuff. Okay, so that's all the bows. And then um, I got, I did do these as well. So these are just similar, right? But there's a different, instead of a bow, I have a star. So just, it's just using up all of your beads. So you don't, again, you don't have to use um, word beads. But, um, what was I going to say now? Um, oh, I did try to use a heart. 
And the only junk thing about the heart is that it was like, because a heart is shaped like this, right? So the bottom is lighter than the top, so the top kept flipping. So it wasn't working out for me. <laughs> So I was like, ah, I'm going to just try to use up other stuff that will stay put. Okay, so that's all the flowers. Um, and then, so here's all the words that I did. And I just looked around and I tried to find different words that I could put together. And oh my god, I like separated out all my alphabet beads. But at the end, it was really worth it because it saved me time when I was trying to figure out what I was going to spell. So I recommend you do that, even though it's a pain in the butt. Okay, so this one is actually, oh, my L is ugly there. Let's flip it around. Um, so this one is Aloha. Cute, right? And um, Marissa had given me a pineapple bead, so I think I'm going to um, put that there once I get my head pins. And then here's Dream. So on these, because you can barely fit the five alphas here, um, that's about as big a word that you can put. So I just used the spacer beads to add in a little bit of color because I couldn't fit the brown beads on the ends. So it really depends on how long your word is. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this one I did two words. I did you rock. Um, here's laugh. I don't know why my neighbors are driving back and forth, you guys. It's kind of irritating. <laughs> okay, happy. And then cutie. This is just to give you ideas on what kind of words you can put. And then hello. And then, okay, so this is the, uh, I'll go over that after. This is chill and smile, smile and yay. So this one is because the word is so short, I could put the, um, I could put the round beads on the ends. Okay, and then these I managed to make dangle. So let me go over that now. So this one says shine. Because instead of shine, I put the star. And then this one says hey. And again, because it's a shorter one, you can add the round B too. And then hugs. And then yes. Like yes, girl. <laughs> And then PHA for all my PHA members. And then sweet. So that's why I put the candy. And then craft. I actually want to put crafty, but I couldn't fit the Y. And then girly. And then bloom. And then, okay, so these are the ones that I made using the, oh my gosh, my um, neighbors are driving me crazy. Okay, so this is the um, heart beads that I had bought, and I don't know if I like them. <laughs> I wish I got them in black now that I'm looking at it, because it's really light. The letters, colors don't all go together, so I had a hard time matching everything. So anyway, so I did craft, I did hello, there's hello, and then I did hey, which is upside down. See, I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like it. Okay, so there's hey. Okay, so that is all of the pins I made, and most likely I will be sharing them um, in some happy mail, but I just wanted to share with you that it was really fun to put together, you guys, and once I figure out how I'm going to use it on a project, I will share that with you guys. But until then, I think, you know, you guys can play around with it a little bit more. It's super easy. I didn't even use the other safety pins that I bought because um, this one was actually longer. So I think those might be nicer for this type where you're going to just like have the beads, like one bead with like other, other beads there. The other thing that I'm thinking about doing, I got to go back and find my word beads. So instead of the alphas, you can just put like a word bead. So I, I'm pretty sure they had some in there. The only junk thing about those beads is that they, um, on the other side, it's a different word. So if you don't like that word, then it might be kind of awkward. So anyway, just something to think about. Um, I hope this um, inspires you to bust out your beads and use them for, you know, I don't know, a different use. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.